Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Brad over here at Chattanooga Fishing Fun. Here at Fishing Fun, we sell Ranger boats and Lance truck campers. So we've got a beautiful Thursday here to shoot a video. Figured it'd be a good time to do it while it's not storming and stuff. Um, I'll try to make the introductory quick. Nobody wants to sit through a boring video, you know what I mean? So uh, anyways, I've been seeing a lot of talk online, uh, articles, Facebook posts, Facebook groups, and all this and all that about Lance quality control everybody uh you know talking about pre-rev campers being superior to post-rev campers um i'm gonna try to stay unbiased off of that i think they're both good campers but i've actually got a pre-rev camper and a post-rev camper on my lot right now at the same time so we're going to do a video on them and you know compare apples to apples here see what we're looking at and for the record this is manufactured and may of 2017 this is a 2018 lance um, 975 and i've actually got a 2021 lance 975 over here manufactured in september of 2021 all right so pre-rev post-rev rev rev group bought out lance i think january 12th 2018 so this is one of the last you know 975s to cross the line um, as a Lance camper so but there's been a lot of comments about you know quality cuts and uh, cheaper materials and all this and all that so we're just going to take a look at it for ourselves and you know see if they are cheaper I know the answer to this already I just figured I'd make a video out of it so everybody else that doesn't have a pre-rev and post rev camper at their house to check out could see all right so 2017 or technically this is 2018 built in 2017 um we've got the tpo nose cap it's very durable it's like your car bumper uh, you could actually take a baseball bat to that without cracking chipping what uh whatnot and 2021 along with the 22s that are out now still using the tpo nose cap just have the gray front and different color sticker uh, still have the overhead lighting and everything but that's the same let's see what else is the same got the dual pane glass windows that's that's a deal right there all right so this one also has the dual pane glass windows same exact size and everything on the other side here you can see that but for 2022 they went to the acrylic uh dual pane windows i don't know why don't know the reasoning but um I wouldn't say that that's a step in the wrong direction. Some people think so. Uh, I like them better because they open up more, let more airflow in, more ambient lighting. But you know, some people don't like it and they think that, okay, it's acrylic, so they're uh, saving money. But that's a post rev camper over there with glass dual pane windows. So they carried that on for quite a while. All right, what you'll find different over here is the Atwood Jacks. They got bought out, can't get them anymore. So they swapped to Happy Jack. These Happy Jacks, I believe this is the 4820 series. Yeah, those are rated for like 2,800 pounds a piece. So those jacks can carry a total between the four of them over 11,000 pounds. Pretty impressive to me. Slide out. This is actually the same slide out that um, Lance used and Rev is still using. Uh, laminate fiberglass on the uh, side of the camper here no hollow sounding let you look under the slide out too there you go we got our tracks there there the underneath we'll go ahead and look at the belly over here too as you can see i'm just showing you this so you can look at mine and tell that it's the same there's the basement closed in all right like i said same slide out knock on the sides here still not hollow sounding so we're still using block foam insulation and asdell on the interior walls there's the tracks one and two over there underneath and like i said it looks the exact same underneath here still using screws to hold these into place look at that all right i'll be right back i got a call to answer hang on all right i believe this is where we left off over here 
All right, here is my refrigerator maintenance panel here. Look at the wiring, all crimped nice and neat and routed how I think it should be. Uh, I'm no electrician, but that looks pretty clean to me. So they still know how to wire stuff up. Uh, I got the lithium batteries with mine. Nothing spectacular, but you couldn't get those in 2018. Uh, there's my storage compartment. But yeah, same slide out, same windows on the 21. This is a post rev unit. Um, same laminate fiberglass siding, still no hollow sound. And then underneath still looks the same. So um, just going up against the front and the driver's side here, nothing that leads me to believe that uh, Rance or Rev run Lance in the ground, but we'll keep going. All right, so rear of the camper, this is going to be your 21 model. Rear power awning, same on uh, the 2018 over there. I mean, literally everything looks the same. I don't think there's too much to compare over here. Fit and finish is nice. No screws missing. Still have the onboard generator. That's the Onan 2500 propane ran. If anything, that's improved because those other ones were really loud. And in 2021 of February, I want to say, I want to say they actually come out with a generator that's within the decimal range of national parks and everything. So you wouldn't have got that prior to Rev. But, I mean, if Lance still owned them, yeah, sure, they'd probably be using them because you can't get the other ones. But that's an improvement. It's not a uh, cost saver or anything. I'm sure there's other generators that they could have went with to save money. But they didn't. Still using the torque lift bumper here. The torque lift ultra deck, that's still an option. No cost savings there. Um, still have the backup cameras. This one's got the two-way lighting on the back. That's an improvement. You got the white and amber lighting versus the amber lighting only on the 2018 here. See that? Docking lights, you still got them over here on the 2021. But uh, we'll go around to the side now, see if we can see any cost savings over here. All right. So take note, this is, again, all laminate siding, all laminate fiberglass siding, high gloss finish. Um, the stickers are flowing just nicely, I guess you could say. Automatics uh, side awning, have that also on the 2021. Uh, amber lighting versus the two-way lighting on the 21. This propane door right here, two 20-pound tanks. I've got the same thing on mine and it still has this plastic right here so even Lance used plastic shocker right magnetic holder I still have those on mine so we're not saving money going to clips or anything to hold these or you know what not I don't really know what to talk about inside the compartment I've got the hand warmer on mine too skin that's where the furnace kicks out I use it as a hand warmer though. Got the vent there, I've got that on mine. And I'll show you too so you don't think I'm fluffing it. There is our access panel for the hot water tank. Mine looks the exact same. And outdoor speakers, I got those too. External propane connection, 110 outlets. Dude, if I actually have that on mine, I never noticed that. We'll go check it out. But I mean, everything, as far as this, that's the same materials on, you know, the post-rev units versus the rev unit, or the post-rev units versus the uh, prior to rev, so. I mean, everything looks the same right up under here. I mean, we're studying the outside of this camper before we go to the inside, because if they changed, you know, the outside you'd be able to tell very easily right but we'll go over mine all right like i said this propane door right here this is all plastic just like the uh true lance i have mismatching tanks so that's my own fault let's see did i not unlock this how silly of me no i did oh wait i gotta show you my mag magnetic holder yeah, see? 
still have a magnetic holder to hold the doors up. There we go. My hand warmer. Those uh, bug covers, they didn't come on the Lance, Lance units. Um, those are added on by the customer that traded in. I'll probably get them on mine too. But uh, yeah, there's my two-way light, white and amber light, my vent for the oven, my water tank. Maybe we could crimp those, but I really don't see any need to, or zip time, get them out of the way. Oh, see a need to though. All right, back here. Hold you there. I do have a 110 outlet. Never even freaking noticed that either. There's my external propane connection, my tie down brackets, just like over there. Same material. I'm telling you, it's the it's same. This is a 2021, three years after, or three and a half years after Rev bought them out. They could have, you know, made changes if they wanted to. But I guess they didn't. So the outside, we're looking the same. I don't get it. Where's the, uh, where's the, uh, unfit quality and the, the cut corners and stuff i'm not i'm not seeing it dang it i really wanted to but um anyways we'll go to the inside now oh wait no we'll go to the roof one thing i want you to notice that a lot of other brands don't use is the fat ladder here this is a beefy ladder that'll actually hold you getting up to the roof the other ones are kind of like like really skinny and they're i think they're for looks i don't think they want you on their roof because then you'll find all the soft spots but Lance, hey, we could use a cheaper ladder if we wanted to. But even under Rev Group, we're still using the fat ladder. This is rated for 250 pounds. I'm not quite that, but I could grow up to 250 pounds if I wanted to and still use this ladder. Okay, roof time. Okay, we're nice and windy up here. Winds are blowing. You probably can't hear me. I'm sorry so uh let's see all right this year model they use the tape right here um sometimes you'd have issues if this didn't you know seal properly uh, it could allow leakage in 2021 we actually or 2020 we actually went back to using the sealant the lap sealant so works out much better than the tape and again this was a lance idea crazy right all right fully walk on roof these advertise 12 year roof warranty, fully walk on, no soft spots, awning cover, big AC unit, one solar. I'm not sure if uh, in 2018, if dual solar was an option or not. Um, so I kind of let you down on that. Don't know. Lance load rack system. All right, let's go check out my roof. All right, here's my roof. Don't pay attention to the max air vents. I actually made that improvement. Um, this was going to be an option for 2022, and I think they discovered how big of a pain in the rear end it is to actually install this right next to the AC unit. So they're not offering that anymore. I got to do that and waste three and a half hours of my time. But uh, we got the Dometic 10K here. I think they were using that in 2019, 2020, and 2021. In 2022, they're using the Coleman Mach 11s. If I can block the noise, I will. I don't know how that. Here's my solar. We got a fully walk on roof here, just like the other one. No soft spots. I'm not falling through any part of my roof. My slide out cover, we're still offering that. The King Jack antenna. And that auto satellite's still an option. I just didn't want it on mine. Lance slow drag system. Uh, but yeah, on the 2022s, it's, uh, I've read in the pamphlet, they're actually offering a 20-year roof warranty on the new ones. So that's eight years better than when Lance owned them. All right, the moment we've all been waiting for. Let's check out the inside. All right, so this is the pre-rev camper. When you walk in, you have this huge basement sliding door. You can actually remove this and see some of your lines and everything. Uh, you got the garbage can walking in. All of your light switches here. Fit and finish is nice. They cover up all the seams. 
uh, nice flush countertop uh, kitchen sink covers and it, let me tell you this is the exact okay so uh, 2018 to 2021 nothing changed layout wise even 2022 still the same but uh, anyways we're just going to go over let you see fit and finish of a pre lance or pre wrap camper now one thing is lance uses these buttons right here on the side of these cabinets these are junk i don't like them my uh 2021 has them so you know they're still using them for the uh 21s but the 22s lance actually has the handles that you pull and you don't have to worry about these getting jammed or stuck anymore because you know you just pull it open like a regular door handle and i'll try to find a 22 here on the lot to show you what i'm talking about but uh, anyways solar everything is nice and caulked and this is a used camper but i mean it doesn't even look used this customer really took care of it got the blinds so my camper 2021 still has the blinds but in 2022 they went to the day and night shades much much nicer you don't have these blind blinds bending and slinging around and stuff well let's see if we can see any plumbing there we go got the nice little plumbing and the wires hanging down over there and pretty much see some of the lines and routing and stuff and then we'll check out my camper too just comparing the two so they were using what wedgewood vision ovens in 2018 backsplash very nice hey well note these open up sideways so if you go to look at a 20 whatever 975 on the lot somewhere just remember that those kick out sideways and these door jams have these buttons right here that you grab you don't grab on the door and pull on it move the floor i don't really know what you want to see so i'm just going to show everything that you know as far as fit and finish and products and what they're using and everything fantastic fan we're still using that this is the exact same as my camper just a different color um and my tv come out and rubbed on that from not being latched that was user error but These right here, you poke them in, pull on that. This is the passage interior. 2018, you had Passage, Roadster, and Mystic Shores, I believe, to choose from. I mean, everything's like identical. The tables, the benches, I mean, the type of cabinetry and wood that they're using in here. I believe this is called Eurolite, Euro light, something like that, Europly. But that's the exact same deal there. I mean, same material cabinets and everything is mine and what's in the new one. So, carpet. Hate to say it, but they're still using this crappy cork board in here. I don't think anybody actually ever uses that. Uh, somebody actually sent me postcards to put on mine, so I gotta get them. I gotta find some thumbtacks to put on mine. Put them, uh, postcards up that's the first fan mail i've ever received pretty cool uh, day and night shades there's your day shades and night shades um the new ones aren't like that and i'll show you what i'm meaning here in a minute still use the same switch this actually went out on my 21 but just a bad switch i guess because it works now well uh, let's see three-way fridge we're still using this again i'm just trying to you know go through here and see where all the uh cost savings are i've been reading a lot about it no pass through window i'm pretty sure those leaks so they did away with them but this is a lance camper you know prior to rev and it doesn't have the pass through window rev group didn't just come in here and delete that here is your bath area looks the exact same as mine i mean down to the pattern and everything
<laughs> yep, that's where they hid my toilet paper holder there. Got the holster for the toilet paper. Hot water tank. Toilet. Mine has a little push button off to the side. I think I like that more than reaching back there to grab that. So that's an improvement, my opinion. All these are my opinions, so everybody's got them. Wall controlled thermostat, we still have that. Like I said, this is the same cabinetry and everything. The fit and finish is nice. I'm not gonna say it's not, but uh, I'm not gonna say that the new ones aren't as nice, so. But I'm around these campers every day, so. A lot of the people talking about them are. This camper is beautiful. This one is still for sale at the moment. I made a video on it prior to this one. Got the uh, day shade here and night shade. That kicks up too, by the way. But um, yeah, so we'll go check out the 2021. This is actually being taken at the end of my video because I almost forgot. But anyways, this is a 2022. This is the handles I'm talking about right here. See? Goes in and out. You actually have a handle here to pull. But works a whole lot better than those push button ones. I didn't even get a chance to clean out my camper before doing this video. I just got a spur of the moment idea. Pull out drawer just like the other one over there. Same trash can. I got one of them too. Uh, fit and finish is nice and covered up here. I've got the same ordeal here, layout wise, just different color countertops. Um, I think everything, you know, as far as design is nicer for 21. This is a post rev, you know, camper. Um, all the caulking, nice and not gunked up and oh crud i just hit that not gunked up or anything like that everything all the seams for the wallpaper and everything nice and flush there all the caulking you want to see where i messed up right there but it can also happen on the 2018 if you leave this right here out and not latched wait till you hear it click Look at that. I even got me a lance embroidery there over the exit. Took me a minute to come up with that. But yeah, fit and finish is perfect. Um, got the backsplash still. And uh, like I said, for 2022, they did away with the blinds here and uh, went with the day and night shades. So that's nice. That's why I think I'm going to sell this one and get a 2022. Another COVID camper. There's my everyday clear forks and spoons. But fit fit and finish, I mean, I don't have any complaints here. I don't I don't see it. But yeah, they still use these crappy push-in button deals here for the 2021s and in 2022 they went to the regular handles, so I feel like that's an improvement. See, this is the one that sticks right there. See what I mean? You gotta push it out there. Sticks, see? But this is what Lance was using in theirs right here. I mean, we're still Lance. I feel like I'm doing this video just saying that now we're Rev, but I mean, Rev owns them, but we're still using the same stuff here. So I'm not understanding what the issue here is and what all the hoopla is online. Look, got an improvement on the day and night shades here. Day shades, night shades. That's an improvement from what, what was in there. My opinion, again, that's all my opinion. But I mean, all the wallpaper is nice and flush up against the wall. There's no air bubbles or cuts or, you know, anything like that. All the seams are covered. 
I don't have any complaints here. All the seams are nice and flush and looking great. I think this video is turning out to be a lot longer than I originally expected, but see, got this crappy cork board. Like I said, I got some postcards from uh, viewers here to put on that. I need to get them hung up. Thank you for sending those, very thoughtful. Still got the dinettes here. Here's my Uno. Sometimes you get bored when it's raining outside, you know what I mean? Same table, see? Nothing's changed there. Same everything over here, just different color. Refrigerator, all digital now. Gotta keep it smelling fresh. But yeah. So I mean that's that's the same design right there. Same shower pattern and everything, just different accents, different colors. And here's my Dometic toilet. This is what I was talking about. I got the flush on the side over here instead of reaching back there to grab it. But everything is nice. Nicely finished in here. There's my toilet paper holster. Here you go, got all the lines and everything. Pull out drawer. I actually never even use that drawer, I need to. I need to put some toothpaste or something there. Same step up. Same cabinets, I mean, literally everything's the same. All right, that's uh, pretty much all I know to show you, really. I think we've gone over just about everything here. So, I don't know. I read all these comments, you know, saying that Rev run them in the ground or Rev is saving money and cutting product and um, cutting corners and stuff. I'm just, I'm not seeing it because it looks the same to me. Um, same materials on the inside of the walls. You still got the Asdale interior, block foam insulation, uh, aluminum structure, um, the warranty, the same besides the roof in 2022. I read in the pamphlet that it says uh, 20 year roof warranty versus Lance's original 12. So warranty's gone up. Um, I think the main problem is now is people just didn't know that you can have issues with RVs what the issue is now is how long it's taken to get the parts to fix the warranty issues. Lance still had warranty problems when it was Lance prior to Rev. You just, you know, didn't have to wait as long to get it taken care of. Whereas now you do. So, I feel like that might be where some people are getting upset. But it's the same camper as that one, just different colors. Oh shoot. Gotta watch my step. But uh, anyways, if you have any questions, you feel free to comment below. Uh, if you want a Lance camper, you can give me a call, 423-892-6272. My name's Brad. But uh, yeah, really this, this wasn't for, you know, like a sales video. It's just showing you the difference because I know not everybody has a, you know, pre-rev camper and a post-rev camper sitting where they can actually go through and view, you know, side by side what's different and what's changed over the years and what hasn't. So I just felt like I'd make a video and go through and show you same materials. It's really the same everything and they've actually made some improvements in my opinion. The acrylic windows I think is what it has everybody tore up. I'm not, I'm not really sure. I haven't figured it out yet. But when I do, I'll let you know. Or if when you figure it out, let me know. Um, anyways, again, my name's Brad. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it informative. If you like it, go ahead and hit it, hit the thumbs up button. Let YouTube know that I might know what I'm talking about. Might be enjoyable to watch. Uh, if you feel the need to subscribe, go right on. You can do that. If you want to see another video from me for some reason, you can hit the notification bell. Let you know uh, when I upload another video. Until the next one, y'all take care. Stay safe. And I'll catch you next time.